Good morning, my princess. Good morning. Belly rubs. Belly rubs for the bugs. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, sweet bubbies. This is my sweet boy. Yeah, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm vlogging because I'm going to Camelback Resort, Camelback Ski Resort or something. I don't know. I am going snowboarding today and I figured why not vlog because it's definitely going to be interesting. I literally do not know how to snowboard or ski or anything. So I'm going to follow a lot and yeah, unless I'm like naturally good at it. We'll see. We'll see. Everybody's telling me that it's really hard and that I'm going to fall. So I'm just anticipating that the entire time. But right now I'm just getting the rest of my stuff together so that we can leave. And then we're going to be on our way. Be careful. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still recording. Yeah, let me get out first. This is my bad side. <laughs> Did you actually? Really? <laughs> you gonna get up or do you want me to stop? You got it. Today is the next day and I am going to the gym right now. I literally have lost all motivation to 
want to go to the gym this past year i swear to god someone's car is so loud right now but yeah i've lost all motivation to go to the gym this year and i just need to get back on track and get into a habit of going especially because my boyfriend is leaving soon and i need to keep myself busy and keep that off my mind and everything because i'm gonna be really sad um i don't think i like ever explained that but my boyfriend's leaving for the military so yeah like there's gonna be like a couple months where I'm not even gonna be able to talk to him or anything, so it's gonna be really different. We've been together for four years, almost, well, almost four years, straight, nonstop, literally lived together, everything like that, so it's gonna be completely different. So I need to make sure I make a change so I can get myself, um, one, get myself healthy again, and two, just keep myself busy so that I'm not super sad and don't think about it as much. I'm also just gonna be like working a shit ton because um, yeah, why not? I might as well just make a lot of money while he's gone and everything like that. So I'm going to the gym right now. So I'm going to the gym right now and I just pumped my gas. So I should probably head over there now. I got myself some pre-workout so that I can actually like work out today and stick to it and not give up um halfway through because i feel lazy um honestly like if you guys ever struggle with like feel like feeling like you can't continue work your workout or you just like lose motivation or get bored while you're working out take pre-workout because it helps and then i'm also <laughs> just eating a little lara bar because i needed something to eat before i left but yeah, that's the plan today. And then I wanna go to this crystal shop at some point today because I wanna get a bunch of crystals. I wanna get back into that because I really, I used to be into crystals a lot. And then I kind of just like stopped getting into it. I was more focused on like partying and everything like that. So I wanna get back into that and like manifesting and everything. So I wanna go to one of the shops and buy a couple and show you guys that. And then I need to make lunch and stuff whenever my boyfriend gets home, but that's the plan. And also, if you guys were wondering what I do at the gym, so for cardio, I always do um, Lauren Geraldo's like 12, 3, 30 because it's the easiest cardio and I feel like it just sets the like the tone for my workout um, and it's super easy and I can watch like YouTube while I do it. And then I'll, I will usually like lift weights or whatever, but today I'm gonna do um, some legs. So I'll show you guys a couple clips of that if I can get that in um, if it's too busy I probably won't but I'm gonna go to the gym now before I don't want to go so I just got done with my workout and it was honestly really good. Um, I didn't go too hard. I actually ended up doing abs and arms instead of legs because my ass is bruised. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, if I could show you guys, I would, but it's literally, like, in between my butt cheeks. Like, in my crack, there's a fat bruise in between my cheeks. So, I didn't want to really, like hurt it anymore in case I did like hurt my tailbone or something um so I just focus on arms and abs today and then I did the 12 3 30 um so I feel accomplished regardless of how hard I worked out or not because I got here today and that's all that matters because I like I said I've been struggling to get here but I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now and pick up some lunch stuff I saw this sandwich on TikTok that I want to make um because it looked so good so I'm gonna make that and maybe make some soup with it or some veggie thing on the side i don't know just so um it will have like a lot of protein and greens and stuff like that and then i will probably go to the crystal shop later but i'm not exactly sure what time i'll go there i do want to go home and grab cash to go there though so that's why i'm not doing it right now because i don't know if it's cash only and i don't want to go in there and want to buy a bunch of stuff and not have cash on me so I'm gonna go do all of that and get situated and then I'll show you guys everything I get for the sandwich and what I'm making. So this is everything that I got from the grocery store for lunch um, because I'm gonna be making those sandwiches that I said that I saw on TikTok. So I just got some spinach and arugula, some bread that I have toasting right now, some turkey, a tomato, avocado, onion, some basil pesto, 
And then I made on the side some Italian wedding soup for my boyfriend and I, and then um, this blend of stuff. This is the thing that I showed in one of my vlogs that I said was really good. Um, and it's the macros are like really good for two. And also, if you guys have ever had Rouse, is it Rayo's Rouse? I don't know. Um, tomato sauce, like spaghetti sauce, you gotta try their soup because this is the best Italian wedding soup I've ever had. And then I also picked up one of their tomato soups because this looked really good and it's probably fire. So I'm gonna try that as well because they were all on sale and I was like, you know what, let me grab a few. Also grabbed a Starbucks coffee. This is what I got. It's two pumps of caramel syrup and two pumps of white mocha and it's a it was i well okay i asked for a venti ice white chocolate mocha and i got instead of like the six pumps of white mocha i got two and then i got two pumps of caramel and soy sauce because <laughs> soy sauce soy milk because it makes it sweeter but honestly i probably would have done less syrup for both because this is really sweet with the soy sauce but yeah, this is really good, you guys. So I just put avocado on one side and put some red pepper flakes and pepper and salt on it. And then the basil pesto is on this side and I just threw some turkey on top. It's the same for both. And then I'm gonna put the lettuce, tomato, onion on it as well. And I can't wait to eat this because it just sounded so good. That's why I had to remake it. I like had to go to the store and get this today. I'm going to the crystal shop right now. It honestly looks pretty sketch outside, but I feel like those are the most legit ones. So I'll try to film in there as much as I can, but usually you can't. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got from the crystal store. Um, because I don't know, maybe you're interested in everything that I got. Maybe you guys want to get into it as well. And I'm also really excited about everything that I got. So I just had to show you anyway, even if you don't want to see it. Um, so the first thing I got is some sage because I just heard that's like how you recharge your crystals and stuff like that. I'm not really exactly sure. And also it's just for good vibes. And I feel like, you know, all these people are like touching the crystals and like, you don't know what kind of energy they hold. Like, I don't want to, I'd rather just cleanse it and start fresh. And then I also got this little plate to put the crystals on and then also put this on. So yeah, this is really cute. This is honestly like pretty cheap and all of my crystals were pretty cheap too. So, so this isn't like an expensive um, thing to like get into. It's honestly like fairly cheap. It just depends what you get and how big of the things that you get. Also, if you hear a bag like crinkling, it's my cat because anytime there's a bag, they try to get into it and try to play with it. And also, ever since I brought the crystals home, they've been like so into them. And I know like cats like attract or crystals attract like cats energy or cats have like high energy. So that's kind of cool. But I wanted to show you everything that I got. I got this free little pouch because I bought more than six. So... This is the first one I got. I think this is Jasper and this is for like, um, I honestly forget. Um, I'll put it up on the screen of what each means. This is Jasper. I'll tell you guys what each one of these means. This one's really cool. This one's really cute. And I bought um, each crystal based off their meaning. I didn't buy them based off of their like look or whatever. So it was just kind of whatever I felt meant most to me this is the red tiger eye red tiger's eye this one's really cool and each of these were like two dollars i think i think it just depends on which one you get this one this is the only one i really remember i forget the name of it but this one's for like basically like health and wellness and like clear lungs um just like heart health and stuff like that i figured especially with the times going on right now, like this wouldn't be horrible to have. And, it, and it's also cute. Then I got a smoky quartz, which I literally love this. Like it is so pretty. I wish it would show better, 
my lighting's so bad i'm sorry um and this one's just like prosperity and stress-free and no this one's like stress-free i think like i said it's gonna be on the screen this one is carnelian and um i think this one is prosperity and success and stuff like that um which is huge to me so i got this one and it's also really cute i got a piece of moldavite so i'm gonna take it out and show you there's a lot of skepticism against this crystal because of its high energy and the guy i basically like asked the guy like kind of like why like people were so scared about it or like why people were so turned off about it and, like didn't want people to buy it or anything like that and he said basically it's just very like high energy and um it comes from a meteorite that from space and it's from the Czech, you can only get it in the Czech Republic and he literally wrapped it up like this for me um and just like that it has high energy because it's extraterrestrial and stuff like that and he's like basically like if you're manifesting with it you need to be very specific with what you're manifesting very specific with the energy you're surrounding with it because it's super powerful type of thing one second my cat's trying to get in the room and so with that being said i bought this one as well um which repels negative energy so i figured this would be perfect to go coincide with this one so that I can only have positive energy with the most powerful crystal in my collection.